All the slides used here belongs to their respective owner. I or the channel does not claim any rights over them. This video contains some medical images. These are only for teaching purpose. Hi everyone, I am Shahan Laik. Welcome back to my channel and in this video I will be talking about a very very important topic and that is lichen planus. Now what is lichen planus? You can see these rashes which are there which has been developed on the surface of the hand you can see and these are very itchy pruritic rash and purple in color and they have different shapes basically polygonal shape you can see so let us define this lichen planus first lichen planus is a t lymphocyte mediated disease so it is a lymphocyte mediated disease always remember this so lichen planus is a t lymphocyte mediated disease and it affects the skin and the mucous membrane so not only the skin is affected but also the mucous membrane would be affected i will show you pictures of mouth because mouth will also be affected i will show you pictures of nails nails will be affected and also i will show you glands penis which will also be affected so generally when people talk about lichen planus they just show you the rash on the um, on the flexure surface of the hand but in this video i will show you with diagram with pictures that with clinical pictures basically so that you can understand what is lichen planus so lichen planus is a t lymphocyte mediated disease and it affects both the skin and the mucous membrane and basically these four p words are very important number one is pruritic you can see typically the skin lesions of the lichen planus are pruritic pruritic means itchy pruritic means itchy purple and purple in color they have purple color polygonal and what is the shape polygon that means many sided okay polygonal flat topped papules and it will be flat the flat topped papules and generally these are found on the flexor surface of hand now you can see this picture can you see this uh, papules these papules are flat topped they have flat topped okay flat they are flat and what is the shape can you observe the shape they are polygonal they are polygon polygon polygonal purple can you see the purple color so purple color i told you i will show you the clinical picture can you see all this pruritic and also itchy also itchy so these characteristics you also you always have to remember pruritic means itchy purple in color can you see the color purple color flat topped papules and these are papules and they have flat topped their surface is flat topped and also polygonal in shape so what is the shape polygonal what is the shape polygonal so all these four characteristics 4p when there will be 4p like pruritis purple papules that is flat top papules and polygonal then you will understand this is lichen planus and they will also tell you about the flexor surface of hand basically the flexor surface of hands are affected and what kind of disease is lichen planus it is t lymphocyte mediated disease t lymphocyte mediated always remember t lymphocyte mediated disease now let me show you another picture you can see this is another clinical picture and this is basically showing you the flexor surface of the hand and basically the wrist they will give you a picture of the wrist and in the wrist you can see these are actually the papules these are actually the flat top papules purple in color they have purple color and you can see it is flat so these papules are flat and they are very itchy also they are very pruritic itchy and also these are because of the lymphocyte t lymphocyte i told you so this is lichen planus this is lichen planus you can easily understand now can you see this these are actually 
also like in planar slations and what is another thing which you can see here is actually weak hamstrae these white white lines can you see the white lines these are actually weak hamstrae weak hamstrae i will show you and explain you in better in this video after some slides i will tell details about weak hamstrae don't worry about it just remember these are the characteristics like whenever you are observing a lesion when a person comes to you and you are a dermatologist or you are a just a GP then you have to understand what are the characteristics in the rash you are looking pruritic purple flat top papules flexor surface of the hand weak hamstrays so all these are very important while you are looking and observing about the rash of purple uh, about the rest of the lichen planus now you look at this picture you can also find out that these are the white stria can you see this white color stria which is there and this is also showing the weak ham stria weak ham stria so always remember they always give you pictures of lichen planus lesions and they may point out the white lines and they may ask you what is this these are actually the weak ham stria these are actually weak ham stria this is also another characteristics of lichen planus like in planus we can stria now let us come into the nails because nails characteristics are very very important and these are always asked in uh, several important questions uh, several important exams like need pgd and be set all the exams they always ask you about this nail manifestation they will not give you the skin manifestation they will give you the nail manifestation so what is the nail manifestation of like in planus you can see pterygium you can see pterygium what is pterygium you have learned pterygium in ophthalmology also right pterygiums are the triangular piece of skin you can see the pterygium is the triangular piece of skin which has been extended in the nail can you see the thumbs of this person you can see the triangular piece of skin which is also extended in the nails so this is pterygium and this pterygium is a special feature of lichen planus pterygium if they give you a picture showing the pterygium then it is a characteristics of lichen planus always remember this this is a very very important lichen planus okay now look at this picture can you see all these nails are having the same triangular shaped structure these are actually the pterygium these are pterygium triangular shaped structures triangular st uh, separate structure can you see the shape of the pterygium it is triangular and that is why the name is also so pterygium actually means the triangle shape so you can see pterygium which is a characteristic of the lichen planus always remember this nail manifestation these are very very important now you can see another manifestation which is also very important this is known as tent this is a kind of tent known as pop tent now you see the nails has become tented that means the nails has become the structure of a tent you know tent so you can see look at the uh, nail it has become just like a tent where everyone stays when we go to travel and other uh, in hilly stations and other places uh, and sometimes we use the tent right so you can see the nails and it has become pup tent to this is known as pup tent appearance of lichen planus nails pup tent appearance pup tent very important pup tent appearance of the lichen planus nails so first one i i told you about pterygium and the second one is the pup tent you can see tenting of nails this is another characteristics of the nails which is also very important and this is known as Trachyonychia. Trachyonychia. What is trachyonychia means? Trachyonychia means sandpaper nails. Trachyonychia. Trachyonychia. Trachyonychia means sandpaper nails. You can see the rough surface. It looks like sandpaper. Can you see the rough surface of the nails? So trachyonychia means rough nails. Trachyonychia means sandpaper nails. Can you look at the rough surface of the nails? Can you see? Can you appreciate that there is a sand? These are sandpaper nails. These are rough nails. Sandpaper nails or rough nails. So trachyonychia is a characteristics of lichen planus. Trachy onychia always remember trachy onychia trachy onychia these are 
सैंड पेपर और रफ नेल्स सैंड पेपर और रफ नेल्स दीज आर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ लाइक एंड प्लानस लेट मी शो यू अनदर पिक्चर यू कैन सी दिस पिक्चर इज ऑल्सो शोइंग द सैंड पेपर नेल और रफ नेल सैंड पेपर नेल और रफ नेल यू कैन सी वेन द पेशेंट कम्स टू यू यू कैन यू विल चेक द नेल्स एंड इफ यू फाइंड दैट दीज आर सैंड पेपर लाइक नेल्स और द रफ नेल्स द सर्फेस ऑफ द नेल्स इज नॉट स्मूथ जनरली वी हैव अ वेरी स्मूथ शाइनी नेल्स सर्फेस बट यू कैन सी दिस सर्फेस ऑफ द नेल्स आर जस्ट लाइक सैंड पेपर जस्ट लाइक द रफ नेल्स सो दिस इज ट्रैकी ऑनिचिया and you can understand this is a characteristic of lichen planus this is a characteristics of lichen planus this is another picture which is also showing the sand paper nails or the rough nails sand paper nails or the rough nails trachy onychia trachy onychia you can see the rough nails now let us come to the mouth mani manifestation because the mucous membrane i told you the mucous membrane is also affected not only the skin is affected not only uh, you will find the rashes on the flexor surface of the hand on the wrist but also the mouth is affected when you look inside the mouth of this lichen planus patient you will find these white color lines and it looks like the mucus membrane has been affected so these white lines are actually the wickham's triad which i already told you in week wickham's triad are the white lines white uh, striae so you can see wickham's triad and this is how the mouth looks like so they always give you these pictures of this mouth manifestation mucus membrane manifestation and you can find out that this is actually the picture of lichen planus affecting the mucus membrane so you can see how it looks now you can see this picture is a little bit different and it is also showing the mouth manifestation and you can see the uh, behind the lower lips you can see how it has been affected so not only inside of the mouth the lateral surface in the la uh, the last picture we 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 saw the lateral surface how lateral surface of the mouth was affected and in this picture we are seeing that behind the lower lips also you can get this white striae wickham striae in lichen planus now this is another picture you can see it is also showing lichen planus affecting the lateral surface or be, be behind the uh, cheeks you can see how it has affected now let us come to the penis now you see here the penis is also affected here and generally in case of the penis you get the annular lesion so annular means ring shaped annular so you can see the lesion observe the lesion the shape of the lesion it is ring shaped it is annular lesion and generally the glands are affected but here you can see not uh, the glands but the sept is affected so glands are affected and also sometimes sept are affected but glands are more commonly affected and what is the lesion you will get in the penis for lichen planus annular lesion you have to remember this word annular lesion now you can see this picture is showing the glands penis and here you can see the annular lesion annular lesion and this is generally more common like the glands are affected more common i told you annular lesions of the glands this is a manifestation of lichen planus annular lesions of glands now you look at this picture you can see both the glands and the sept are affected here and you can see the lesion in the glands this is a small lesion but it is also annular in nature from this uh, annular lesion in the glands you can understand that this is also lichen planus observe it it is annular lesion and it is affecting the glands so you can understand that this is lichen planus the black arrow mark here in this picture is also showing the same you can see how the annular lesion looks like and it is showing the annular lesions in the sept of the penis and just uh, very near or proximity of the glands and these are the lesions of the lichen planus now let us come to the scalp okay you can see the scalp how it has been affected basically in case of the scalp you will get a permanent hair loss you can see the picture he is getting permanent hair loss 
permanent hair loss this is not temporary permanent hair loss and you will get patchy progressive permanent hair loss these are patchy in nature you can see these are patchy in nature and these are progressive disease so it will progress first you have a little portion which is affected and the little portion is hair loss you are getting and then you will and uh, this disease will progress and you will have a larger portion affected and you will have a larger portion with hair loss and this hair loss is permanent this hair loss is permanent and when you touch this hair these are the, uh, this portion when you touch this portion these are pruritic these are very much itchy in nature these are very much itchy in nature i told you i will uh, teach about weak hamstria you can see these white lines can you see the whitest lines on the lesion these are weak hamstria i told you i will explain in details about it these are so what is the definition of weak hamstria weak hamstria are the whitest line these are whitest line and where it is found these are visible on papules on papules in lichens planus and also in other dermatoses typically in oral mucosa and it is also found in the oral mucosa i told you not only in the papules not only in the purple papules you can visualize the white lines the weak hamstra but also you can find it in the mouth when you look at the mouth you can also found the weak hamstria this is very important weak hamstria is a characteristic of lichen planus weak hamstria is a characteristic of lichen planus always remember weak hamstria characteristic of lichen planus can you appreciate the white lines here yes these are weak weak hamstria i told you not only in the papules but also you can find the weak hamstria in the mouth you look at these white lines these white lines are very prominent see these white lines are very very prominent white lines and these are weak hamstria found in the lichen planus you can see now let us define cobner's phenomena now why i am defining cobner's phenomena cobner's phenomena is a phenomena which is found in lichen planus but it is not a specific phenomena for lichen planus it can also be found for psoriasis so do not just uh, if there is cobner's phenomena you just have you just do not blindly think about the lichen planus just also have another differential in your mind that is psoriasis so always remember what is cobner's phenomena let me define first then i will show you clinical pictures don't worry about it so cobner's phenomena that is kp cobner's phenomena abbreviated as kp cobner's phenomena was discovered by henrich cobner so name of the scientist is henrich cobner and basically what he observed is you find appearance of new skin lesion new skin lesions are developed in a place of trauma so if there is a trauma then after the trauma you get the skin lesion which is isomorphic which is isomorphic or equal to the shape of the previous skin lesion which was clinically there in the patient i will show you picture don't worry and i will explain now look at this picture this is showing the cobner's phenomenon and i told you what is cobner's phenomena cobner's phenomena is basically a kind of skin reaction you can see after a trauma so this has been this skin has been traumatized after the trauma the skin lesion again appeared for the previous skin disease so what was the previous skin disease of this patient lichen planus the patient was having lichen planus so after the trauma the patient is having the skin lesion of lichen planus you can see this is cobner's phenomena this is known as the isomorphic response this is also known as isomorphic response why it is called isomorphic response why it is called isomorphic response isomorphic means same sep same response so you will getting the same skin disease again after the trauma and that is why it is known as isomorphic response isomorphic response and this is cobner's phenomena isomorphic response this can be found in lichen planus so but another thing you have to understand that uh, cobner's phenomena is not a definitive diagnostic of lichen planus if you get cobner's phenomena you cannot just blindly say that this is lichen planus because in psoriasis also you can get the cobner's phenomena so always remember 
Cobner's phenomena is a response that can be found in lichen planus. And you can see these pictures also. This is also showing after the trauma, the patient got the lesions of the lichen planus. So you can see how lichen planus has been developed after the trauma. And the area of trauma is been now with the lichen planus. So this is known as Cobner's phenomena. So they always give you uh, these pictures in the exam and they ask you about Cobner's phenomena. And if the patient's history shows pruritic, purple, papillar, uh, rash, uh, which is polygonal in shape and the wrist is affected. And if you find the nails finding pterygium and other things which I told you, sandpaper nails, uh, tinting of the nails and in the mouth, if, if you see the lesions, if uh, all these histories are given, then you can easily understand uh, the, um, that this phenomena can be Cobner's phenomena because the disease is lichen planus. So in this way, they will give you a clean, uh, they will give you a clinical case and you can understand the Cobner's phenomena from the uh, from the pictures which they, they will give you. Now, you can see this another picture. This another picture is also showing the same thing. That is the Cobner's phenomena. Always remember, Cobner's phenomena is also known as isomorphic response. This also they may give you. They may sometimes uh, may not give you the Cobner's phenomena. The name is uh, sometimes not given in the question paper. So Cobner's phenomena is also known as isomorphic response. Isomorphic response. Same thing. Okay. Cobner's phenomena also known as isomorphic response. Isomorphic response. The same thing. Okay. So when they give you this picture, you can understand that this is a picture of Cobner's phenomena which can be found in lichen planus and also this can be found in other disease like psoriasis. Always remember this. So this is the end of this video and if you like this video make a thumbs up and please subscribe our channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you are new to my channel please please write down in the comment section below if you are loving this videos because so many people you watch the videos but you do not put a comment so that I can get inspiration. Please give me some inspiration. I will uh, make many more clinical videos like this and please go to the playlist of this channel and watch all the videos from this channel like the disease videos. Because now you are watching, so you have a time to watch the clinical videos, the clinical pictures videos. Now you watch all these videos, you will have a great knowledge of the clinics. Because all my videos are basically based on clinical picture. I try to show you clinical picture more and more and more. Because you will have a horizontal and vertical integration. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.